Hi guys, my name is Lily and right now I'm on my way to the teepee because I want to sleep there for one night and as you can see it has snowed quite a lot and I'm really glad about it because this year we didn't have a lot of snow and yeah now finally I can make an overnighter in the snow in the teepee. My backpack is pretty heavy, so I try to walk slowly. You don't want to be sweaty because when you cool down after moving around, you risk hypothermia. So I try to walk very slow. Woo! -hoo! I found a birch tree. I try to get up some tinder for the fire later. Okay folks, so I'm on my way to the camp and I just found this unusual spot here and yeah, I've seen some tracks as well and it looks like something has dug up the earth here and back here as well. And here you can see some old damage a deer has done, so it peeled off the bark of the tree. Busat is over there. All right, so I just discovered a very interesting track. So here we can see some kind of bird hopping in the snow. Hop, 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 hop. And then he flew away. And here you can see its wings. Today I have my Kamek boots on and I really love them. So if you are searching for a good winter boot, I can highly recommend Kamek boots. They are waterproof and they are super warm. There's quite a lot of snow on the teepee. Wow, <laughs> look at this. More. The snow is pretty heavy, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to get off the snow off the teepee. Wow, everything is dry in here. There's no snow inside of the teepee, so that's really awesome. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Today I brought a beer with me. Actually, it's beer with lemonade, so last time I forgot my beer, but this time, uh-uh. <laughs> okay, so first I try to get off the snow from the teepee. Oh my god, this is going to be a great overnighter. Okay, the teepee is touching the ground and that's not good because you need a little bit of, sp of space between the teepee and the ground so I really have to do some digging now. And yeah, if you don't have this gap you will have no chimney effect and then you will have smoke in the teepee like all of the time and that's no fun. Okay, so now I have an air gap between the liner and the teepee and there's enough of space so that the air can come into the teepee and take the smoke with it and then the smoke gets pushed out up there. But first of all, I need to open up the hole. Oh, 
Okay, so I set up the flaps, not too bad. The left one a little bit more to the side because of the wind coming from this direction. And yes, the other one is not so easy to stretch out, so I decided to leave it like that. And yes, you can set up the flaps more perfectly, but for today, I think it's going to be fine. The night is going to be very long and pretty cold today. And I have some firewood ready, but I still want to split some more. So when I'm splitting logs, I try to make sure that I only use the force that I really need. I don't want to use more force because it's not necessary. It might look better, but actually I don't want to injure myself. When you're using too much force, it can happen that the axe goes to the side and then you hit your leg. And second of all, I want to save up my back. I had a back injury like five years ago. and. It was a rip in the disc. Man, that hurt a lot. It hurt, hurt for three years. I needed three years until my back healed up again. And since then, I always feel it a little bit when I do too much, you know. So I just try to um, split the wood very economically. Uh, I mean, ergonomically. <laughs> See, and now with the smaller pieces, I don't need so much force anymore. And yeah, there's no use to fully smash onto the logs like this. It's no use. You're just going to exert yourself. So it's getting dark in about one hour and today I want to carve another bow so now I'm searching for some good wood for the bow and I want to get it now while it's still light. Okay folks so I've just discovered this elder tree. Now I've never used elder before for bow making but this one is very straight and it has about the same softness of hazelnut, so I think I'm going to give this a try. Yeah, so this first piece is not too bad. This one here is very good. It's pretty straight and has only a slight curve, which is cool. This is okay too. So I think I'm going to go for the two smaller ones and I'll leave the big one here. These are two good limbs for a survival ball. Okay, it's pretty dark in the teepee, so I'm going to switch on my camping lanterns. I've made them myself and I soon I'm going to release a video about how I made these 
lanterns. So that's pretty awesome. And yeah, so now I want to make a fire. Let's see what we have here for fire making today. Um, I have my fire steel with me. And if you remember, I have collected some birch bark earlier. So that's what I'm going to use as a tinder. But first I need to make very fine wood. Okay, first I want to lay down a base layer of logs and yeah, the cold ground and the moist ground is going to suck the heat up of the fire. So it's important that you protect the fire from the ground and also I want to get off this snow here because that's of course not good. So this should be enough. And here I have two air tunnels, but I think they are still under snow, so I have to go and dig them out. Okay, I just found the tunnel. Yeah, it's free. I got it. Okay, here is it. So now I have some air for my furnace. <sighs> okay, here I have the birch bark that I have collected earlier. And now I just want to ignite it before I throw it into the cabin. So as you can see the fire is burning pretty good but it took a little bit of time until it burned that well and now there are drops coming off the top because now the ice up there is melting and yeah but I can sit here normally I can breathe normally the fire is burning really good because of the air tunnels that bring in the fresh air from underneath and this basically acts like a furnace and this way you reduce the smoke and also the liner works as a draft so all of the smoke gets pulled out into the hole up there this is going to be a very cozy night but now there's a lot of water coming down here so i really have to keep an eye on the fire and now I just take this wood here and lay it beside the fire so that it can dry out before I throw it into the fireplace so here at the sides you can see steam which comes from the wood that I lay around the fireplace because yeah now it's drying out and when it's dried out, I can use it for the fire later on. The fire is burning really good. And yeah, it was quite some work to dig out the air tunnels but it was completely worth it. And I'm sitting here smokeless. It's super awesome, really. I don't know if you can see this up here, but actually this is a wasp's nest and it's moving around a lot. So there you can see how good the draft is. I need to get some water. And gladly in winter, that's no problem when you have enough of snow. So just take my snow here where it's nice and white okay okay now the tipi 
is pretty wet because the snow has melted. So it will take quite some time until the teepee is dried out. So now it's time to cook up some meat. <sighs> Super awesome. And today I have brought two steaks with me and I'm really hungry so I'm really looking forward to it. Okay, I think my steak is ready. I hope that it's medium. Oh my God, I've waited for this the entire day. Oh my God, this is going to be so delicious. Yes. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. And now the beer. And I really deserve it today. Oh yeah. It tastes so good. Mmm. broke it yeah not my best try actually <laughs> okay so unfortunately I could not shoot the bow and it had a weak part here but it was still a good project and hey I'm learning as I'm breaking more bows <laughs> There's a lot of ash in my water and it doesn't look uh, very clean. I'm sure it's clean. There are no pathogens in it, but I don't like the dirt in it. So I'm going to filter it through. All right. So now I'm taking my cotton bandana and I just put it over the mouth like this. And now I take my dirty water Pretty hot. And this way I can filter out the ashes and all of the other stuff that fell into the canteen cup. I need more water.
Okay, I got bad news. I've lost the seal of my bottle and I can't find it anymore. I've searched for it everywhere. And without the seal here, I can't take the water bottle with me into the sleeping bag because now it's leaking. And in long term, this is not a very huge problem because I can easily go to a hardware store and get a new seal. But for tonight, I can't use it as a bottle, as a warm bottle in the sleeping bag. And that's pretty bad. <laughs> So now I have closed the door and it's much warmer in here now and yeah, closing the door is a good idea in winter time. <laughs> oh, I'm very tired. Oh. I'm pretty warm and it's important that you're warm when you go into your sleeping bag because when you're cold you will never get warm inside of the sleeping bag again. So you have to go in warm. I'm inside of my sleeping bag now and I've taken all batteries with me into the sleeping bag, my mobile phone and I'm going to take the battery of the camera too. And yeah, I'm really tired and I have a headache so I hope that it will go away by tomorrow. So have a good one. Good night. Good morning guys, I'm here in my sleeping bag and uh, I was pretty warm all of the night so this is a really good sleeping bag and I woke up at 5 o'clock in the morning and I thought that I heard some animals approaching my camp but now I'm not so sure anymore because um, maybe it was just the snow that was falling off the tree and yeah so now my plan is to pack up all of my stuff and then i want to go outside and see if i can find some tracks of animals i don't want to get out of my sleeping bag Well, it's really hard to to see some tracks because the snow has fallen down like all night from the trees. And now I can't see anything. Maybe there was no animal. Maybe I just heard the snow falling down from the trees. Yeah. <laughs> I got fooled. <laughs> no animals. Everything is fine. So wet outside. Oh. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh god. Oh. Let's go home. Wow, what an awesome night in the TP. Yeah, so when it's snowing, 
a tip is really has a real advantage. It's nothing else. Let's take a look at the bugout camp. It's full with snow. Yeah, a proper roof over the head is worth gold in winter. And yeah, the smoke, the ventilation of the TP worked great as well. So I had minimum amount of smoke inside of the TP and the air tunnels, they were a success. So I'm pretty happy that I have dug them out in summertime. So now I'm trying to find my way home and yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope that you liked this video. Oops. <laughs> and yeah, maybe leave me a like and a comment. And if you want to support my channel, you can do so by becoming my Patreon. And you will find the Patreon link in the description of this video. So thank you again for watching and stay tuned till next time. <laughs>